Come with us to LA. I got invited to a store opening that's in Venice a little later in the evening. So we figured we'd sleep in, wake up, we're gonna go get coffee and just kind of make a day of it. I'm gonna shoot some content and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So first up is definitely coffee. My hair's a little crazy, I think I'm gonna take it down. But um, first up is definitely coffee. We're gonna go to Verve, it's one of our favorites. There's one in downtown, so we're gonna go there. I think we're gonna take some pictures after we get some coffee. And then we're gonna actually head to Rodeo. We made it. Had to pay Arm and a Leg for parking, but we made it. So I got a matcha, and then my husband got a vanilla ice latte. Adiós. I love a matcha, but honestly, I'm kind of jealous for coffee. It's just always a good idea. It's always so delicious. Now we're walking to go shoot some content. I think we're gonna go on the next street over in front of this cool like sign. Just shot some content. Ooh, the lighting's horrible right now. We're gonna go up. So I just shot some content. Here's a little outfit of the day. Um, and now we're gonna go drive, I think. We're gonna go more on Rodeo. I did a quick outfit change in the car and now we're heading to like the Beverly Hills area. Um, disclaimer, it is going to take about 30 minutes to go about, what, 10 miles? So, um, nothing is close but we're, I just, I'm just trying to hit all the spots since we're here for the day. But yeah, disclaimer, if you are visiting LA, downtown, Beverly Hills, not as close as they might seem. parking fun fact they had two hour free parking which we were kind of surprised at but so we're gonna do this we're gonna go get macaroons macarons pardon me and then we are going to go shoot some more content I changed obviously so yeah Bruce had to go to the bathroom so he's going to the bathroom but we just popped out in this cute little courtyard we're gonna just walk around yeah, we have two hours before we even are charged for parking, so that's definitely a win. We got our little macaroons. These ones I actually first tried when my friend brought them home from Paris, so I know they're good. And um, just came by to pick some up and have Bruce try them for the first time. Here they are, we got pistachio, salted caramel, yuzu, milk chocolate, vanilla, and a coffee. All right. Kwanya, try it for the first time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try a pistachio one. I've never had a pistachio one. They're my friend's favorite, so mine as well. It's so soft, and honestly, they're not overly sweet. They're really soft on the inside, just a little crunchy on the outside. These are some of the best macarons I've ever had in there. They're just always like fun for a sweet little treat. Sunglasses. I think I'm gonna try on the sunglasses one more time. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just went to the Celine store and bought myself a little something. I'll show you guys at the end of the video what I got, but. That was so fun, and of course I went to Rodeo Drive to get him. A 
Okay, so I realized I never showed you guys what I got at the Celine store. So um, just popping in here to say that I did get those sunglasses in the first clip. And then I also tried on this gorgeous brown Jackie at the Gucci store that I thought I got a clip of, but I didn't. And that's kind of what I'm talking about in the next one. That brown Jackie is literally from the runway. That's the only one left. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. to go into the stores. I know it sounds really weird and I was like I don't need to do that but honestly it's so much better to do it in person. The Celine stuff that I got too I was debating I really can try it on really look at it really make sure everything's good um, instead of it you know getting tossed around in the mail or something like that. So I really recommend if you can come down if you're looking to buy a designer item and invest some money in it do that for sure. If not, it's fun to honestly just walk around and look around, um, grab snacks like we did. We grabbed our macaroons, macarons, I keep saying that, and uh, you can grab coffee and just walk around. I took some more content, got some pictures, which was really nice. It is 85 degrees, which is really hot for Los Angeles, um, so it's really warm, but we're going to go and we're going to go get some food now. Um, we're going to get some chicken sandwiches. These houses are just so beautiful. I don't even know where we are. But like, holy cow, can you imagine? I like to imagine for just a second. We're gonna eat here at this fried chicken le coup. Oh my gosh, look at these. So excited to try them. That sandwich is so big. I cut off a piece of chicken and I'm gonna try it. It's so good, not dry at all. This like batter they have on it is really sweet and a little spicy. Definitely a good chicken. Do it. It's really good. I don't even have words yet. I think I need some more bites. This is so good, so messy. What really makes it though is this like coop sauce that we ordered on the side. I'm a sauce girl, so I love it. That was so delicious. If I went back though, I would probably order just the chicken tenders and their coop sauce just because. I don't know, for me, like chicken sandwich is like never my go-to, but I had to try it from there. I'm glad I tried it. Is it my ideal thing ever? No, I definitely go back and get the tenders, but definitely worth checking out if you're ever in the area. So, we're in the car now where we have to go to Venice for this store opening. Um, it's like 45 minutes away. Again, we've kind of been all over the place, but we've been here for almost five, six hours now. So, you know, just drive, chill, drive, chill. But yeah, we're gonna head over there and uh, check out their store opening. Okay, the beach is like behind all of those cars right here and palm trees, it's that way, but we're turning onto Main Street in, I th are we in Venice? I don't think so. I think we're in Santa Monica still, heading towards Venice. Okay, now comes the fun part of trying to find parking. We're going around this guy. Um, basically, we're gonna try to find street parking even though I don't know how likely that is, especially on a Saturday at like five o'clock. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. In case you didn't know, parking in LA is horrible. It's really hard to find spots. I will say San Francisco is slightly worse, but LA is a pretty, pretty close second for sure. 
We actually found parking pretty easy and pretty close. So we're gonna just walk over now. All right, here it is. Okay, so we randomly stumbled upon this amazing sandwich place that I've heard of. So we popped in there, grabbed dinner or something for a later snack, and now we're just walking around. Okay, here is the sandwich we ordered. We ordered the Truffle King which came with, it's the truffle special. So it came with truffle salami, pecorino slices, artichoke cream, sun-dried tomato, and arugula. Here it is. It's really good. It's truffly, salty from the salami. I like the arugula, arugula, the freshness it brings to it. The bread's a little dense, but out of sandwiches or where sandwiches go, I probably give this like an eight and a half out of ten. The price point too maybe brings it down slightly because it was twenty bucks for this entire sandwich, but. It was really, really good. And I do think it's worth a, worth a try. I'm always like down to try something once. And this was definitely one of those times where I think it was worth it. And with that sandwich, I think we are done with our little day in LA. It is about 6.22. Um, so as you guys saw, like store opening wasn't anything crazy. It's just, you know, kind of um, a place for people to mingle, shop, network things like that it's nice i mean the cake was really good it kind of tasted like sprinkles cupcakes like it that's the kind of ticket cake it tasted like sandwich definitely super good i'm just such a sandwich girl like give me a good sandwich and i'm happy um but yes that is it so um if you guys want to see more behind the scenes stuff um a closer look in that sandwich shop a closer look at my like shopping experience on rodeo um feel free to follow me on tiktok and instagram of course under thriving lily as well and i will see you guys next time